you shouldn't have to worry about when you buy your tickets to your next big event. Game Time is a fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. With great last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and the best price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. So go ahead and take the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use promo code CLUB520 for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code CLUB520 for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last-minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All right, we back. 520 in the morning. We had to have an emergency podcast because the NBA free agency is absolutely fucking crazy. Same gang with me to my left, my dog, Bishop B. Hen out the prairies. How you what? Cool, man. She was good to it, baby. Hey, man, I you know what I'm saying? We be waking up pretty early, but I started to stay up last night, you know what I'm saying, to catch some of the deals. And as soon as I fell asleep, all the crazy shit started happening. So I was excited to wake up and see y'all already talking about it. You know what I'm saying? To my right, my dog, Young Nacho, Young T, your prediction came true, man. Yeah, uh, which one? I'm I never miss, but <laughs> which one? <laughs> now this is the time to make a compilation of all the times that he was wrong on the I show. I never miss, bro. Get to it. I rarely miss, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. A couple people said in the comments before they was just like, "Hey, man, I'll be listening to Teague picks. I don't I don't want some bread off of it." Yeah, I don't really miss. Damn, use that promo code. Hey, the Seventy Sixers went absolutely crazy yesterday, late, early this morning. Um, PG to the Sixers. I think we kind of figured that out. What's a couple moves played out? We'll talk about them. But how y'all feel about that? You know what I'm saying? Initial reaction. PG back I in the East. I told y'all. He, I get what y'all was saying with niggas. He don't want to come back to the East. And he want to win. But, bro, he don't give a fuck really like that, bro. He want to play with Joel. He feel like he can do something with Tyrese Maxey. He can at least make the finals. That nigga wants to play in the finals, bro. For sure. So I think that's why he went over there. Tyrese Maxey got paid too. Nice little payday. I was happy to see him man quickly get paid and to see him get paid. I don't know. I've always fucked with them, especially a Kentucky underrated team. Yeah. They ain't get the um they ain't get to go to the tournament to really showcase for themselves. But shout out Tyrese Maxey getting paid too. All star season. How you feel about that team, man? That's their big three. Is that the best big three in the league? Hell no. <laughs> uh they got the best big man. I mean, him and Jokic toss up to me, but they got the best big man, but Tyrese Maxey is a he's a good guard, but I just don't think they got enough to beat the Celtics. That was my initial thought process when I seen it. I was like, okay, so a little bit of a backstory. KCP goes to Orlando, gets that bread, three yeah. year, 66, 22 a year. Shout out to KCP, hoop legend. So we already knew Orlando was off the table for him and Clay. And then when we seen kind of the back and forth with Clay, uh, he's expected to make a decision between basically Dallas. Um, and the Lakers, and I was looking at what they were doing, and I'm like, I don't see PG going to the Mavs. So it's kind of like he kind of had to go yeah. to 76ers because it's kind of crazy. The Clippers was like, no, we're not offering you a fourth year. Yeah. Is that crazy, given mm-hmm. how much they gave up to get him? Nope, because you got to think about it. Less is more sometimes. Like, you get rid of a PG, you get a Derrick Jones Jr. Now Kawhi might be healthy or whatever, but it unlocks James Harden now. He don't got to. Look, to force the ball to PG and Kawhi. Now he can be himself a little bit. Then they got like glue guy pieces now. Mm-hmm. Guys that's going to play defense. Guys that's going to do the little things. PG a superstar. He wants the ball. He wants to score. He wants all that love still. It's a lot to maneuver when you got four Hall of Famers on one team. I agree. And shout out to James Harden. We're going to talk about him in a segment to end this episode. Still getting that bag. Two years, 70 mil, yeah. 35 a year. Boys was sliding. My boy thinking he wasn't going to get paid. Thought he was going to be in the vet minimum going to the Lakers. Y'all fucking crazy. Y'all don't know who James Harden is. Yeah. Been keeping the bag a long time and it ain't going to stop. No, nah, not at all. But that's crazy. Um, Golden State, you know what I'm saying? They they getting rid of that. They got, they said Clay on his way, basically. Chris Paul, they, you know what I'm saying? That he couldn't push that guaranteed day back. So he got waived. Now nah, he in the Spurs. And I realize, I know he loves the game of basketball, but you got to really love the game of basketball to decide that near the end of your career that you moving to San Antonio, Texas. Yeah, he just, yeah, he, he, he just, just like playing, shit. bro. He said he just doing shit. Yeah, he just, <laughs> he loved the game like They gave shit. him the most money. He was like, fuck it, I'm about to bread. Yeah. That's the definition, I'm about to bread. I don't care about winning no chip, I'm about to bread. That was the definition of that. 11 M's to go to San Antonio. Now, granted, he is going to be playing with one of the best players in the world. Um, everybody keep acting like this is 2017 or even 2012. 
It's not gonna be that same Chris Paul, but I definitely like, you know what I'm saying, the possibility of him being the person saying, no, make sure y'all get him the ball if it ain't him getting him the ball. Yeah. But I don't you know, know what the Spurs trying to do. Um, like we said, we talked about Rod Dillon him, them having the opportunity to get him and kind of pass on that. They're trying to get Laurie marketing. I don't know how that's gonna work, but that would be a crazy ass front court if that was to happen. That's a great pickup. I just wish Rob would have stayed so Chris Paul could give him the game. But, but I'm yeah, no but I think he doing. Out. I think he got a good with Mike. I think he got a good guy, like a good vet that could teach you. Oh yeah. Like CP is super cold, but I think Mike is like the perfect person because he ain't no hater either. Like yeah, he gonna give you the game, but he also would be hype for you to play. Like, I ain't mm-hmm. saying CP wouldn't be hype for him to play or nothing, but CP still is CP. Like, I don't think he going to really take a backseat, backseat. I mean, he did this year in Golden State. But he really didn't have a choice. I, mean, I see what you're saying. And yeah. also, that's Steph. He didn't have a choice. Yeah, but, like, taking a backseat to Rob Billingham and his first, I don't – because, you know, Spurs going to be back. Yeah. I don't think he going to take a back – willing to take a backseat in his last years to a Rob Billingham. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel you on that too. Yeah, I was like, cracking on Twitter. It was just like, what if Wimby be like, hey, I'm, I'm nothing on that teaching shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, we cool, I'm cool on all that shit you got going on. It's my shit. <laughs> it damn near is though, bro. It like, is though. This is my shitty foundation yeah. without you, bro. Don't, yeah. don't bring that youth pastor shit down here in San Antonio, bro. I got to yeah, crack it. And Pop is there too. Yeah, the church is already fucked up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> move around my nigga <laughs> for sure man that's crazy the 76ers to me even with the moves that they've made getting Kelly Oubre back was a really good pickup him mm-hmm. getting 8 million a year I was not expecting for as good as he played in the postseason yeah. uh, we see Obi Toppin get 15 and I'm like damn I mean he didn't score as much as Obi but they kind of contributed the same I know they had a short postseason due to injury but yeah. They got a bargain, man. Getting EJ, Daryl Morey, bro, he, he going to call them same people back. He's never on his Doc Rivers. Yeah. You fuck with Daryl Morey, you got a job for life. Yeah, him and Tibbs, bro. They, they going to get their guys. But I think Philly did a good job in this free agency. I mean, yeah. getting Andre Drummond for a backup center that you know is capable of having mm-hmm. big nights and getting big rebounds and doing things like that when Joel get hurt because it's probably a 90% chance he going to miss 15. 25 to 30 games. Mm. For sure. So, to get another backup center that can hold it down while he out. The only thing is, like, keep him Kelly Oubre because Paul George going to miss quite a few games. So, him and EJ can sharpen up the two-guard spot. But of And they got Jared TikTok from Duke. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, another, another backup guard. guard. Yeah, they had a good they had a good offseason. Here's the only problem with that. And just, y'all know how we all feel the same way about PG and Tyrese Maxey. The Knicks are still better to, than them, and the Celtics are still better than them. Yeah. Like, to make them moves and to, like, preferably be third in the East, and obviously we know it's going to come down to availability and matchups in the play, postseason. But, man, I, I don't think that they're better than them top two seeds so far. I don't know, y'all. If if the Sixers are healthy, they could beat the Knicks, bro. You know how I feel about the Knicks. And losing Isaiah Hartenstein definitely hurts them. Yeah, that's them. what hurt them. Definitely hurts them for sure, especially in that series. Yeah. Um, but damn, th- bro, they if just niggas is healthy, bro. Tyrese Maxey, Paul George, goddamn Freaky and B, bro. Yes, bro. <laughs> what I'm saying, they, they, they could beat their ass. The bro. Knicks ain't got nobody to guard and be. I like, At all. I like big fella. What's his name? Athlete. Oh, he hurt all the time. Hurt Rich Robinson. Him. Yeah, he cool. But they need to harden Stein. Like losing him is. And let's talk about that too. OKC getting Isaiah Hardenstein. To put Chet back at the four. Raw, that, nigga. That solidified them. Raw. Who the fuck is going to score on them? Because you got elite wing defenders as is. And then you got two people who shutting the paint down. Mm-hmm. And excellent rebounders, too. And their games complement each other. Because, you know, Isaiah is really good with that dribble handoff. Yeah. High top. Hey, man. It's my, it's my sleeper team again this year, bro. Yeah, that, that they running the back. Up for them. They solidified. They spot in the West next year. They gonna. I mean, even for them going back against um, teams like Timberwolves, they got mm-hmm. a two big lineup that can match up with them. Yeah. Um, and they'll have advantage most likely for both of them. But I don't know. Still, man, I feel like that Knicks team could still get smoked with the Sixers. They have nobody guarding Bead, but still. Yeah, Jr. Yeah, right. Jr. Back. My fault. I forgot. <laughs> My man. Yeah, that's where they fucked up. <laughs> nah, I'm my just man. playing. My <laughs> man, Juju back. Damn, my bad. But they don't have nobody guarding the B. Sixers, I mean, though, that's going to be – it's a lot of pressure on Joel Embiid, though. And Paul George. Nah, because you kind of know what PG going to do. PG ain't never – He ducked the smoke for a good reason. Nah, I ain't saying he ducking smoke. I ain't never saying that. But I'm saying, like, Joel Embiid, that's his team. So, 
PG came to be a complimentary player to Joel mm-hmm. Embiid. You can't expect PG to have moments to take over. And now you got another Max player in Tyrese Maxey who proved that he can take over. So he like the complimentary OG. Like He the third piece? Yeah, like I'm the complimentary OG. Y'all younger than me. Tyrese Maxey, really our dog. You the MVP. I'm just a comp- I'm just going to hit a couple big shots. It ain't too much pressure on him, but that's good because he don't perform well when it's like a lot depending on him. Like, hey, PG he like that take- damn like, I get it. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, I can't wait to that press conference when they lose and he be like, well, it ain't really my team. <laughs> Nigga, nah, it's gonna bro. go platinum. I, I see good things for Philly. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, they're they gonna have do. a great, but, but they're gonna be a 55 win team. They're gonna, once they jump, they're gonna be a good bro. team. But like you said, that postseason gonna be different. I don't know if they got enough to be Boston yet. Uh, but I mean, shit, they they looking promising. They nah, just they so gonna, unhealthy, bro. Yeah, they, that's what I'm saying. Your two stars, besides Maxi, he's he's yeah, playing. He he plays. Does. But like PG, he misses a lot of games, and then Joel and B misses a bunch of games. I just don't believe in that. Yeah. As a, if they was if I, they said they was gonna be 100 percent healthy. I believe in that team, but yeah, I don't know. But Boston, they got too many people where they can have guys hurt. And like, it don't matter. It don't matter. You got matter, Derek bro. White. Like, this is how I view it. Derek White, Drew Holiday can cancel out PG in a, in a game. Mm-hmm. Drew that's Holiday so can cancel out Tyrese Maxey. They don't got nobody that's canceling out Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Nope. <laughs> it's like yeah. they don't got that. And that's what you need in that conference. Because even with the Knicks, I, know, I feel what you're saying. Like you said, Isaiah Hartsall even definitely makes a big difference because Embiid is that nigga when he's healthy. But goddamn, canceling out Jalen Brunson is gonna be tough. But him and Maxi, yeah. But I, but that that Jalen Brunson shit is a little bit that playoff know. shit. Bro. I watched I watched them in the playoffs. Nothing, Maxi, bro. they was going back and forth, bro. For sure. But I, I'm I'm taking Jalen. I, I I gotta take Jalen in this situation, bro. I don't uh, think Tyrese want that Jalen smoke, bro. And shit. that's no disrespect. Tyrese Maxi Cole. Nah, I think Maxi really better than Tyrese Halliburton. But this is just me. He uh, is. It, it's just me. He is. Oh. Tyrese Tyrese Maxey is light years better than Oh that's what we on today? Tyrese I'm just Hummer, saying this just how I That's really what we on today? I really, and I don't never really agree with this nigga on too much of shit. That's real talk, bro. Hey, go pull up game seven footage. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> all I'm gonna say is I just game never I never seen a game where we had to tell Tyrese Maxey to shoot. Like, you gotta be the guy. That nigga is ready to be the guy. That's why yeah. I like him. That's why I kind of believe in the Sixers because of him. Mm. Not because they got Paul George. It just helps that they got Paul George. Like, okay, that's another dynamic player. He better than uh, Tobias Harris. Like, we know we can believe in him. He can get 20 points. Like, Tobias Harris can too, but they wasn't fucking with Tobias Harris. Yeah. They gonna fuck with PG. Tobias Harris is a motherfucking legend. He's the MVP of the summer. Yeah, bro. He's a motherfucking legend. For getting the bag in Detroit, Mm -hmm. another, what, 26, 27 M's a year Mm -hmm. with no pressure. Dog, when B got hurt in the playoffs last year, they was like, it's Tyrese Maxey or Bust. I was like, y'all got a Max player. (laughs) Starts and plays all the time. They good. But they they wasn't fucking with him. Like, they ain't giving him the ball. It was time for him to get out of Philly because he really (laughs) nice, though. I swear to God, Tobias Harris is really nice. I just just said that. We just had this conversation (laughs) on Mike. He's really nice, though. You can't find... His production at times, I understand why he gets the slander he gets, and a lot of times it's deserved. Yeah. But you don't find too many skilled people, 6'9", 6, 6'10". Six, That's a light 16 and 8, bro. Yeah, he really nice. <laughs> he be having the numbers, too, as much as yeah. he meets and his he, quota. He can shoot. He be, what, 37 from the three, all yeah. types of crazy shit. He, his numbers be here for the money. Like, yes, bro. I just said that in the other room. And fuck whatever he did. He made 300 hymns from the league, and he has no expectations. Tobias Harris is a fucking legend at the base. That's what's more important to me. He got the best career ever. He got a better. He got a better. He's the Michael Jordan of Joe Johnsons. Yeah. Yes. Tobias Harris is a. No, I'm not talking about skill. I'm talking about like living with no expectation. Talking about the pay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, Niggas get paid for shit show, bro. To kill and like, like, yeah, he did it. Yeah, like less than ten points elimination game. He's like, I'm thinking about 27 m's this summer. (laughs) That shit fire. Yeah, be a free agent. Nah, that means I'm going to Detroit. Fuck it. Yeah, zero expectation. I know, look, listen, I know damn well if JB Bickerstaff get that motherfucking pisses team to the playoffs in the next three years, he deserves an award. Because that man got fired for turnaround team in Cleveland. And he sent they sent him to Detroit and they got a whole bunch of people who can't shoot. But I'm telling you, Detroit gonna be all right this year though. They need they need K a years. gonna be cool. I'm telling you, Tobias, okay. Tobias gonna be nice though in Detroit. It's, he kill on shit like that. Like <laughs> hey, 
the so, small market team. Yeah, nobody watch you do, kill bro. Shit like that, bro. I'm telling you, you're gonna have a big year. They gonna be like, damn, Tobias Harris averaging 21. And they he gonna, gonna be, he gonna be underpaid. He gonna, like, he gonna finesse match. it to another <laughs> yeah. two year extension. He gonna opt out. <laughs> and go back to average twelve. <laughs> Fuck yeah. it. Do do the right thing. I'll fuck with it, man. Uh, Clay Thompson, where I think he going? L.A. I think he going to Lakers too. He when should. I, when I seen that LeBron called him um, as soon as free agency started, I'm like, I see that play, especially with the pops legacy and shit. Yeah, I can see him going to L.A. It's a good play, actually. Great pickup for L.A. They got to do more though. Um, I think they obviously got a trade coming because Matt Chris, Max, <clears throat> Chris, excuse me, getting 32 M's after we didn't really barely see him play basketball is crazy. Um, I know eight million dollars in today's NBA is frivolous Man, compared to what niggas is getting. Yeah. But if you would have went in your time and somebody would have randomly got four years, thirty-two million, and barely played, the league would have been. Bro, in, that's what I got on my first deal, averaging fourteen points a game, and I was <laughs> like, "Oh my god!" I just seen a dude didn't play got thirty-two million. <laughs> Shout out to him, man. <laughs> Shout out to him. <laughs> they get traumatized. <laughs> nah, I'm just like, the, where the league is is in a great place. I'm not hating, but it's just like, damn, this motherfucker didn't even play. Bro, at all. Yeah, and you got 32 M's. That's amazing. And that's <laughs> how I know the Lakers fan base is full of some sickos. That was like, yeah, Darwin Ham's out the way. Now we can play Max Christie. I'm like, look what y'all be on. Nah, He's so a Max Christie. They're going to trade Max, bro. Nah, I mean, he just got a four year deal. Shout out to him. I Somebody just else going to take him. No, nah, shout out to the payday. We never hating on that. Nah, I think it's fine. For sure. Yeah, yeah we yeah. beat for clarity. That. We fuck with that. Yeah. But I, I've seen them talk about DeRozan. Um, I think that would be cool. Um, but I think they're going to have a trade and probably pick up Clay. Yeah. But four years, 32. Off the, off, the, off the pine. It's crazy. Bro. <laughs> Not a thought. <laughs> what did uh, Obi Top average? Uh, I think Obi was close near 13 ish. Um, with the 60 ball. <laughs> oh, shout out to y'all, man. Meet I was that just quota, bro. I was listen. Nigga too say, early, this bro. is what you have to do to get this money. I was it's a formula, baby. Yeah, early, yeah bro. bro. Niggas is not going extra, early. bro. 10 years. That should be cap. Boy, based off your old ball, it's like uh, highlight tapes the last two weeks. You'd have got a smooth nine a year man, off the dribble. 10 years too early. Shout out to them, man. Should have been playing under the rim. <laughs> Nah, I should have been born in 1996. <laughs> I'm just saying, Mike's still floating, bro. He Mike's older than you. Mike, yeah, Mike's still doing his thing. I think he did just get 11, didn't he? Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to go train. I'm going training, nigga. You got to go kill the rest of the victory. Come on, train. put your Joe yeah, Johnson. I got, yeah, yeah, I'm about to start taking ibuprofen again. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> he don't want to mention that other shit. <laughs> That Ryan, that Ryan Garcia. <laughs> that, that, that GH. <laughs> Fuck it, one last time. My boy gonna go to Germany for a couple weeks. Man. Yeah. Turn my phone off. <coughs> <laughs> this is not the pile for that. I was about to say so. <laughs> we in the morning. <laughs> we in the morning. Respect. Nah, Obi getting paid was crazy. And I, and I did some research into this. The price would have been cheaper for Obi, but he did so well in the playoffs. I think that bumped his pay grade up. And I'm just like, damn. Like you said, for people who, these are role players that are not even considered to be the sixth man or damn near the seventh man. Boys is getting paid right now. It's nah. just what the market is. Nah, shout out to the top. Yeah, that's 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 dope though. But I'm I think the importance that everybody show like the last post seasons is just like, hey, these bench players, role players matter just as much as our first unit. Yeah. Like you got to invest. All the good teams have solidified people off the bench that can come in and keep the lead or play just as good. So yeah, facts. I but the Pacers fire. bench was the best bench in the league, so he deserved that money. Uh, I can't wait to see what my little homeboy get, TJ McConnell. I hope they work out an extension with him. Oh, uh, TJ Nash? Yeah. Uh, he's about to get paid, and like uh, I can't. Obi got 60. I know you. Uh, TJ's over there hype. I'm going to tell you right now. Very yeah. much so. I'm going to tell you right now. That price better not be crazy. It's going to be. He's going to have to get the fuck if so. He's he, he looking for 18 because a year. I saw Emmanuel quickly just get who five. Else, but who else are y'all looking after, though? No, no, no. Hear me they out. I got to pay what y'all weigh. IQ just got five year 175, right? It has nothing to do with your no, organization. No, no, listen to me. Yes, it does. Because we have Andrew Nimpart, who just killed in the postseason last year. Mm. We are not going to be able to afford him. We are not going to be able to afford him. So if we want to keep Andrew Nimpart for the future, that, that TJ paycheck uh, better be real comfortable. Because nah. OB contract is flexible. That's a good contract for both sides. I think TJ, he one of them guys. He's, he he like to be comfortable. He know his style of play don't fit every single team. It fit the Pacers. Cause he gonna go to other some other teams. He ain't gonna be able to run around with the ball like that and do what he's doing. So they worked out an extension. I guarantee if he was like 
give me the same thing Obi got four years, sixty, whatever. I guarantee you'll sign it. He a smart man. <laughs> well, we listen, man. If we gonna be having sixty million on the bench. We better be doing something because we are not that, top that's your right be- now. That was the reason y'all was good, y'all bench. <laughs> no, that's a fact. I'm yeah. rolling with you. I'm rolling. Y'all, y'all starting five was cool. They they play good, but when y'all bench came hurt. in, they won games. It was hurt. No, our bench is the reason why we excelled as well. Y'all still got Ben, Matherin. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else y'all gonna do, bro. We can't do anything. I don't think there's a move out there now that puts us in the top three in the East. So Nothing. stay where you at. Yeah, you have to. Be. You have to realize you have young talent. You have to play Benedict Matherin. You have to fucking play Jarris Walker. Have to play. We have to see what we got. And then just go from there. Some if you got to do something mid season, make a decision. But right now, nothing helps us unless we can get a backup big. That's Pacers is screaming play in. Nah, we top four. <laughs> Facts. Top five at the left. But play we're probably in. right behind Milwaukee. Depends <laughs> on what happens. Milwaukee? Milwaukee. <laughs> I wouldn't even go and get to them. My boy's back. You see my boy who? Dame training right now. <laughs> say who? Who back? <laughs> Dame, he training no, right I, now. I know who Dame is. Who's back? <laughs> Milwaukee. Man, I don't want to hear about them niggas. Yeah, Milwaukee. Giannis back. Bounce that ass. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Bounce that ass. <laughs> Giannis back. Hey, Dane back. Chris Middleton back. Bro Lopez ain't back. It don't matter. But if he do come back, bro. <laughs> DJ, y'all trash, bro. Yeah, they, we they, top five, baby. Actually, they big three is better than if, uh They big three damn near better than Philly. Ooh, that about to get clipped up. It is. Giannis is just as good as Embiid. For sure. Chris Middleton just as good as Paul George. That's going to be the one that get you at. But he ain't just as good as Paul George right now? I'm not disagreeing Did you see him you? in the playoffs against y'all? <laughs> Them fucking bank ass three. Just, off, off the injury, he, he was hurt. Uh, I'm I just telling you, this I is, this is where the clip is coming from. The I next YouTube clip, they're going to be like, oh. I'm not, I'm not rolling. No, I'm saying, one. I'm not saying overall body of work. I'm saying right now as players. No. Hey, Go look up Chris Middleton stats and Paul George stats. I bet they shout out similar. to <laughs> shout out now, to Kyrie and Dame. What? Dame better. You talking about who gonna give you the same production? Right, I mean, they give I you the same production. I'm mad at you for your take. I'm just talking about the Chris Middleton and Paul George. I'm not. I think I need the Milwaukee Bucks to go get somebody under the age of 25 on that roster before. Yeah, I, yeah I feel you see, there. they just got my young boy AJ Jump. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Back to my previous statement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried about stats. no fucking Milwaukee. One day stats, comparable. <laughs> uh, the 2023-2024 season, uh, Chris Middleton had 15 points. Paul George had 22 points. Say less, King. <laughs> they had about the same rebounds. That uh, nigga was hurt. But Chris Middleton averages uh, two more. Seasons. Y'all got to stop making me what laugh, year was bro. Last year. He was hurt last year. Y'all got to stop making me laugh. So, I'm saying go to previous. Now, I have a question. Can you pull up Tobias Harris's numbers from last year? Because we should probably compare Chris Middleton more to Tobias Harris. Don't ever disrespect a champion, bro. What <laughs> the fuck you talking about? Don't ever disrespect a champion, bro. Now, shout out to Chris Middleton. Don't, don't disrespect Chris Middleton, champ, bro. Don't disrespect champ, bro. Compare him to TV. What you mean? <laughs> Boy, y'all stupid nah, that as hell. Nah, so I got to hate. We beat Milwaukee ass all last year. They going to catch all the slander, huh? so they won't smoke. Yeah. Oh! He was hurt. Go, go. Overall. Yeah. He was hurt, bro. Overall, That's fucking hilarious. Overall career? Chris Middleton, first couple years, he ain't played, though. He, so his stats was kind of like. Is That's the same team together, too. He averaged 17 points. That's both of Detroit together, right? Four rebounds, four assists. For his career? Yeah. What Paul George had for his career? I mean, PJ is a superstar. I ain't hating, but his, I'm saying. His career, 20 points, six rebounds, four assists. Like. Nigga, okay. Like. Bro, Paul George is way better than Chris Milton, bro. No, nah, go to the last couple of years. Not this last year. Chris Milton was hurt. <laughs> I sound like him when he was trying to find that GM from the, from the last spot. I found, the we, last found spot. we found that nigga. <laughs> Fuck. What else you got, DJ? <laughs> He keep just, capping for this nigga K. Hill. Shout out to Middleton, bro. Man, Shout send my nigga Tiga sign jersey. <laughs> oh, he got one. <laughs> he a champion. What y'all talking about? Oh, Shout out to Chris Middleton. Hey, um, the Clippers is a freaky ass organization. Uh, they went through the history of them getting people back. You know, what I'm saying that's had some real troubled immediate past. Uh, they got freaky ass Josh Primo fresh off the allegations, and now you got KPJ. Two year deal with the Clippers. Him Good pickup. Him having to be careful. Um, second year up, as a bro. player option, which is kind of crazy in that situation. Um, I know all that stuff is passed. I know that that whole situation happened. 
Right. And I Shout know out to T. Lou. The legal stuff was kind of shaky with that, but you know, the court of public opinion, he lost that. You think it's kind of too soon for him to come back in the situation? No. He was only out the league for basically about a year. Nah, people make mistakes, man. He got yeah. a second chance, bro. He too, he a good talent. I'm not saying like talent should outweigh shit you do off the court, but I'm mm-hmm. just saying, I think he probably learned that lesson. He lost a lot of money because of that shit. Yeah. And I think- The shit ton. Yeah, he lost a lot of money. And I think he learned from that lesson. He's coming back a different player. He went to Greece. You can tell he's just a, probably a different person now. So. Yeah, bro, we took Chris Brown back, bro. So welcome back to the league. KPJ, I hope you average a dub, bro, off the bench. Yeah, because uh, I was seeing a lot of discourse about it. And it was just like, you know, his situation compared to Miles Bridges. It was just like, you know, you saw a lot more substance in Miles Bridges' situation, and he still came back. And regardless of what you think about it, they didn't see a lot of substance from what happened from the KPJ situation. It was just like, so for him to come back and play, like, what's the difference? But a lot of people was just like, why I keep being the Clippers? So that has been very interesting to see about that too. Man, shout out to Talu for giving niggas second chances, man. Hey, shout out to Talu, man. I, I I think what you said to open up this podcast is perfect. I think the Clippers, talent wise, may not be the same, but I think a much better team mm-hmm. um, because, like you said, the hierarchy of stuff, you can kind of, you don't have a superstar you got to cater to no more. Yeah. You got just a flow of a team on a buy in situation. For sure. And I think like some of them people, I'm not discrediting Paul George. He's cold, but like, oh, for sure, K- P- KPJ and them can have nights where he could be a Paul George type of scorer. I seen him get fifty. Yeah, I, I seen can. him. He's got fifty on the team I played against when I was on Milwaukee. He gave us fifty, so I know he can have Damn. nights like that. And then mm-hmm. you still got James Harden who can have big nights, and the list goes on of players that they got. I mean, Kawhi if he come back healthy, then they a whole different team. So. Hell yeah, man. It is very interesting. Free agency, everybody thought it was going to be um, boring, but by the time we got into Sunday, for real, well, excuse me, early Monday, shit got crazy. Um, I am interested to see how the rest of these things play out. I I think we see Clay to LA going through. Um, I wonder what the fuck Dallas is gonna do because they freed up all that space and cap and they have not came through with anybody yet. And if they don't go get somebody, um, they're going to be screwed. Also, the Nuggets, um, losing KCP was a big deal for him, but I think other people have reported on this. Um, extension, <clears throat> extension process that we have not seen with Jamal Murray and we have not seen one uh, with Aaron Gordon. And they scared because they're like, Jamal Murray is fucking playing um, Olympic basketball, but he ain't signed extension yet. I mean, he gonna sign an extension. Yeah, he's not going man. nowhere. But I think they got players <clears throat> that were just as good as KCP off the bench, though. Like, I think. What's the white boy name? Braun. Uh, Christian Braun. Also, like, they lost Bruce Brown. They was like, we ain't tripping off losing Bruce Brown because they had Peyton Watson. So. Yeah, I think them young boys can come in and kind of take that spot. Not to discredit KCP. I think he did what's best for him. He got paid, but little bro can come in and yeah, give you some type yeah, of that same production. Same production. Let's just shout out to the Magic. Uh, the Magic got a piece that they needed for that team. I don't know how much better they're gonna get with him, but shit, I like it. I like it because shit, bro, you already got the chips, bro. We get the bread now. Yeah, nah, definitely get the bread. Nah, I'm happy for him though. For sure, man. Look, man, free agency is the best time of the year. We will keep y'all in tune. With everything that goes on, 5.20 in the morning. Before we get out of here, be here and tell the people they can buy some merch. Shop Club, well, shopclub520.com. With every, what? With every purchase of free t-shirt using the code, the end. Damn. <laughs> get a free t-shirt. Get a free t- t-shirt with every purchase, y'all. Shout use out to the, the code. You <laughs> Use the code, then, my people. But for real, look up them stats between PG and Chris Milton, like, or Tobias Harris. No, like the end of the year, like the last couple of years, like <laughs> not last year. He was hurt. Yes. I bitch, my pace was hate. The promo code is crazy. Thin. Thin. What what he averaged? It was gonna uh, be fan, but 2021. We had to where he was at. What he averaged 2021, 2022? <laughs> well, I gotta get back to it. <laughs> yeah, out of pocket, bro. Yeah, cook then. <laughs> what are we? <laughs> what are we? Shout out to the morning show, man. Um, you said 2022, 2023? Yeah, 21. Just go. What do you have? <clears throat> 24. <laughs> All right, enough said. Talk to y'all later. Oh, yeah, shout out to Isaiah Joe. He got paid too. What did he get? Uh, the Thunder took care of the young guards. Him and Aaron Wiggins. They both got four. Uh, well, Aaron Wiggins got a five year 47. I think Isaiah Joe got four year 48. Yeah, shout Ooh, out to young boys getting paid, man. Damn, shout that's boys. hard. Shout out to young boys getting paid, man. I like I fuck with the Thunder off the strength that even when you know what I'm saying they didn't have as much promise, they still restructured people deal because Lou Dort got paid when they weren't paying nobody. Yeah. So Sam Presti learned from his past sins and and young boys is getting paid. Love yeah. to see it. 
Good job, Isaiah Joe. Shout out to him, man. Shoot Damn, that's some good chicken. Woo, ain't it? Nothing like it. Come good on, job. Teague. Back in the lab, bro. I'm about to, yeah. Steroids, here I come. Fuck. Damn. Damn. <laughs> WWE Teague on the way. <laughs> like, share, Whoa. subscribe. We'll be back next time, 520 in the morning. Damn.